Hey guys, Gassy TV here with another Path of Excel League Starter Build Guide suggestion for 3.16. And it is going to be the Forbidden Right Totem Build. This build was kind of up in the air when we discussed how the self damage increasement in the patch notes would work. I reached out to Chris Wilson and Bex, talked about it to them, and we did some calculations, and it just looked absolutely terrible. However, they have now updated the patch notes. So in the patch notes, the Forbidden Right is actually taking away the self damage on the totems. Uh, so let's see if we can find it. Forbidden Right. Here we have it. Character totem life has been reduced by approximately 60%, which is a massive damage reduction on our gear because they lowered the HP from things like Soul Mantle as well as the Torch Oak. But totems now take 80% less damage from enemies, but they take full damage from themselves without having any increased modifiers. This allows us to consistently stack the Ancestor Preservation Cluster Jewel, which looks like this. This one is also nerfed, and instead of giving 40% Chaos Rest, it gives 25. That means that when the builds start to get into the map stage, you're going to want to look into having three of these to cap the Chaos Resistance. You can buy these jewels very, very cheaply, cheaply and just uh, alteration craft the Chaos Rest. I have another mod in here that you can get, which will significantly increase the damage output. However, in the low budget, I'm only specking into the Ancestor Preservation to show you that you what you need. To get three of these with a tree, you're going to need to have a large cluster. Now, a large cluster, you can buy whatever cheap shit you can find with any amount of passives just to get the access to these medium clusters. If you can then alteration craft it, you can get pretty much anything like Wicked Paul, Touch of Cruelty. doesn't really matter. And then you want to pick up so you have three Ancestral Preservation medium clusters. Now, with that stated, we do, do know that the damage is going to be lower with the new versions of Torch Choke and Soul Mantle. Previously, the low-budget build did about 8.6 million shape DPS. It was also pretty clear that it's super broken. Uh, I'm calculating this on a situation where the projectiles are actually hitting with 5 hits, where it in reality actually hits with 6 projectiles. Uh, and the DPS in 3.15 was about 8.6 million, and that is about 3.2 million in the 3.16 version. However, we were able to kill tier 16 Guardian maps with socketing one Forbidden Right in a Soul Mantle with Trash League, League Start gear and kill that easily, which was disgusting. With these damage nerfs, I don't see that being a big problem, so I'm pretty sure that Forbidden Right will work extremely well in 3.16 as a League Start. And um, the build guide is fully updated on the vault page. All of the links will be provided in the links uh, in the descriptions below. Build guides and everything that you will ever need for this will be available. Make sure you check it out. And uh, I think this is going to be pretty cool. And I think a lot of people will not play totems, which will allow us to have a lot of cheaper approach to these things. Another change they've done is actually the kick a sorrow ring. Uh, the Kick Asaro Ring uh, has 40% reduced effect of curses. This has changed into 60%, which means that if you put a Caster Catalyst, imbued Catalyst on this, you can get 48% on this. Upgrade a Solo Yugle gives you another 20, so that will bring you from the 70, sorry, 72%, so that will bring you to a much higher amount of percent of effectiveness reduced from the curses, allowing you to be essentially curse immune, and you can stack it up with the rest of it through Sanctum of Thought or Asylum. Whatever, the, whatever floats your boat kind of deal if you want to have passive immunity to curses. Outside of that, uh, I'm very happy with this build. I think it's a really cool one, and I think it's going to work very well as a league starter, as well as for end game content. However, the damage for the higher end game has definitely been hurt by the HP redu reducing from the actual changes to the totem survival. That's all I have to say about this build. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the build. Hit the like button, subscribe for more content. Until next time, stay safe and keep rocking.